doing signs was kind of a way for me to just get off the couch and and it was kind of my therapy and actually it's still my therapy it's a place for me to come out and make signs and I don't have to focus on anything except for making that sign so it's been really good therapy for me. I started Old Man Bay Signs out of necessity, kind of. It was, uh, uh, I was a fireman for 25 plus years. And um, in November of 18, um, I was diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Um, yeah, so you'll see some of my littler signs. I sell for like $30. Um, and then I do mostly custom large signs, like something like this, uh, whiskey barrel signs, a lot more like showcase type signs more or less really pieces of art. Everything I do is wood. So I, I hand router everything. I don't have a CNC, get that asked a lot. But um, I hand router with uh, my routers here and I really like the hard stuff, like kind of like this sign. And I love the challenge of that uh, and, and stuff that I'll, I said, I had an interview yesterday and I said, you know, the kind of signs that I like is the type that when somebody looks at it, they don't go, oh, that's cute. I want them to say, oh, wow, that is awesome. That's the kind of sign I want to make. Every sign I make, I say is my favorite, and I don't want to, oh, man, I don't want to give that away, but this is absolutely my favorite sign so far. This is, uh, so this is four foot by four foot uh, Missouri Red Cedar, and this sign is for a celebrity. It's for Cass Haley. Cass is a, if you don't know who he is, he's a singer, songwriter. Um, he was the runner up on America's Got Talent season two. Um, he just won the Car Lincoln uh, singer songwriter challenge. Um, he is just a great guy if you like reggae or uh, blues and funk and just really good singer. I've been following him ever since he was on America's Got Talent. And yeah, I sent him a email or a message actually through Instagram and said, hey man, would, I'm doing signs now. Uh, would you be interested in doing a, in me doing a sign? And he looked at my work and he said, you do awesome work. Absolutely, I want a sign made. So he sent me the image and I go, oh wow, okay, right on. I can do that, yeah. So I did and here it is, he's seen it, he, he, he loves it. We're gonna sit down and do a podcast and uh, talk about the sign, talk about me, my business, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I was in a really, really bad place, real bad. Um, really depressed, um, basically wouldn't get off the couch. And at times there was points in my life where I was suicidal. Um, this is, uh, it's kind of hard to talk about a little bit. But I think there was, uh, yeah, absolutely it was therapy. My, my wife was trying to find whatever it would be. We did puzzles, we did whatever it was to just get me off the couch. And uh, so I came out and she asked if I could make a simple welcome sign. And I was like, well, okay. I've got some old fence boards and Luan. And so I went to Harbor Freight and bought a uh, scroll saw. So that's how I started with, with the scroll saw, doing scroll saw. And then uh, I did a St. Louis City flag. I did that for a buddy of mine and I used a Dremel tool. And I was like, oh man, there's gotta be a better way than this. So what do you do? You go to YouTube, right? University of YouTube and I search uh, wood signs, how to make wood signs. And there's literally a guy, his name's Eric Roten. He is uh, my mentor now, I love this guy. He, uh, his business is called makeawoodsign.com. And his YouTube page, go see it, check it out. It's old Dave 100. He, uh, but he shows you how to 
carve signs on his YouTube channel. They post videos every day, him and his wife, Vicki, they're amazing people. And so I started watching his videos and they sell uh, router bits and he, they show you basically how to use them. So um, yeah, I started watching his videos and learning. I picked up the router and just started doing more and more signs and just, I, I getting them a little better every time. I learn something every time. I it, everything's a learning experience, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's still, but it is. It's still therapy for me. It's a place where I can come out here and uh, do something that I'm proud to do. I'm proud to hand somebody some, one of my pieces of work, and I love it. There's no better feeling than when you hand a piece of work to somebody, and they're like, "Wow." That is awesome. So that's a great feeling for me and I really enjoy it, yeah. This is uh, something I've really got into and has really been taken off. Um, whiskey barrel signs. I've done probably four or five of them now. I've got another one ordered and it's a very unique piece. It, they take a longer to do. There's a, it's a lot more challenging because you're carving on a curve. Uh, yeah, so that's really challenging, but Man, they're really taking it off. People love them, and it takes a it takes a it takes a piece of a sign that's just a normal sign on a board, and really makes it a unique piece of art. So those are them are actually them are my favorite things to do right now. I love doing those, and hopefully I'll be doing more. You can actually see some of my work. Uh, yeah, I guess I should mention that some of my work you can find at um, I have exit signs. If you go into hoods on natural bridge the look up the exit signs i made those i have a st louis blues sign uh flag city flag st louis blues sign you can see it on my website uh out at gettemeyer's uh jerry gettemeyer's a really good friend of mine uh, of course everybody knows jerry with the old gettemeyer's now brennan's with ralph and julie and awesome people but one of my signs is out at his place and the Village Bar, that is probably, before I did this one, that was my other favorite one because it, it just came out amazing. And so it's hanging up at the Village Bar up at, out, off of uh, Manchester Road. And yeah, it, and it's a whiskey barrel sign, so check that out too, yep. Uh, just the drill press and sanding uh, station and then cutting station. Uh, I do most of my work here. Uh, there's my routers. I got two different routers and sanders and sprayer. And I, I usually don't use a lot of paint. I use mostly wood stains. So even like on this side here, it's white. You can see it's white, but I use stains mostly. I don't know. I just started with doing them with stains. And uh, yeah, so this is where I do most of my carving and stuff like that. Sanding, yeah. Most of my signs are done with cedar, um, cedar fences, uh, like the small signs are cedar, basically cedar fence planks. As you can see, I mean, uh, and it's kind of funny how it all worked out is that I live at Parker and Waterford and one of the busiest intersections, I think, in the city of Florissant. And I was like, you know what? My signs are sitting here in the shop and they're kind of in the way when I'm working. So I'm just gonna set them out front. And I tell you what, it was probably one of the best things I've done. I get probably one to two people stop in here almost every day, almost every day. And I've got a couple signing orders from it. So yeah, I'm at Parker and Waterford and uh, my website is oldmanbaysigns.com. And I'm on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Old Man Base Signs. Um, no, my phone number, yeah, you can text me. You can text me, call me, 314-799-9700. Uh, um, on my website, there's a place on there and that's really a good place to initiate a uh, custom sign because I have a order here now and it, there's a, where you can fill out your information and you can upload some images. If you kind of have an idea of what you want, you can upload images to me, put in some notes, let me know what it is, and let me put something together. And that's generally how it kind of works, really. 
is, uh, you know, I do find that most people think they know what they want until I start talking to them and they're like, and I'm like, oh, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? And it actually kind of led into the, that's how I started with the whiskey barrel signs. A friend wanted a sign made with Winston Churchill about a bourbon quote. And I said, oh, that'd be awesome. Let's, let's put that on a whiskey barrel. Oh, that'd be great. And that's where all the whiskey barrels started coming from. So, but it kind of evolves that way, you know. They give me idea of what they want. I, I throw a little creativity into it. And then we agree on what it is. We agree on a price. I require half down. And then I get busy and we get it done and get it to them. So, uh, yeah, so Cash Haley, uh, man, definitely check this dude out. His music is amazing. Uh, they, he, op he started his farm, Big Hope Farm. And I, like I said, I'll be out there Friday, this Friday, uh, with him doing a podcast. It probably won't be on until September, October, but uh, if you follow my social media, I'll let you know. But follow him. He's on all social medias, of course, at Cass Haley Music. His website is CassHaley.com. Uh, his podcast is Big Hope Farm. And they also do have a uh, social media platforms for Big Hope Farm. It's, what is it? Big underscore hope underscore farm. So, yeah, please, please, please. Go see this guy. Follow him. He's been great for me. And what a great guy. I just... I, can't say enough about him. 